everybody, it's Issa for Us Naturals and it has been three years since I have been natural. So this is my anniversary, my anniversary. Okay, um, as you can see, as usual, I flat ironed my hair. I always do it uh, at the end of the year on my anniversary. So um, this flat iron came out better than all the other ones in the fact that it did not revert and this is the second day already or is it the third day no it is the second day and my hair is still straight so I'm very 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 happy with the results and I have a video coming up for you guys to show you what it is that I did and I will be posting a link check and a hair trimming video uh, in a couple of days or in a day or so I didn't want to do it all on the same day I had it all together but the video was so long so I had to shorten it and I got a little ridiculous silly fun at the end of this video so be sure to stick around for it and until the next time I absolutely love you guys and I can't wait to talk to you again bye all right well this time I'm using different products than I did the last time I washed and conditioned my hair um, well, deep conditioned it because I wanted to have some all moisture going on with it, but not ever sure how much. I saw Felicia Leatherwood flat iron Afro Bella's hair, and she used this the Eden Body Works Jojoba Manoi oil. I don't really see anywhere where it says that it is for heat styling, but you know what? It'll probably help my hair to not dry out so much, so I'm just applying that. A uh, little extra up into my my hair that's really uh, extremely kinky and hard to get to. All right, and now I'm gonna apply things that I know are for heat. So this is my IC Fantasia um, hair polisher, heat protector thing, my jigger. And this is gonna be for my uh, my blow dry, right? I tried a, what do they call it, the tension method blow dry before, yeah, I don't really care for it. So I'm going to blow dry the regular way with a comb on my blow dryer. Alright, and I also went in and added a little bit of Garnier Fructis uh, Sleek and Shine also supposed to be a heat protector I put extra around my edges because my edges is a different texture it's thinner um, and maybe like closer to like three uh, textured so it seems like I could probably get heat damage in that area I don't really fear it in the kinky part up here but all right so I'm going to be using this just a regular dryer got it at Walmart and I'm gonna, I'm using high heat because all right. Well, I finished blow drying it and then I uh, I parted it, you know, over here to give me a side part because I think that's how I'm going to maybe try to wear it. Um, I'm not even sure how it's exactly looking in the back. All right, so let me straighten up my head. All right, and wherever it falls, I don't even know if it's on the shirt, but hopefully so. Okay, so I always start with the back, which I don't even know if I should because it's not a true example of uh, how my hair is going to flat iron because uh, the hair in that section is a different texture than the hair on the rest of my head. So, And I'm just hoping uh, I have the fan blowing because I don't have an air conditioner. I'm hoping it just doesn't get humid in here like it normally does. Now to flat iron, I have two flat irons. Uh, I know that everybody is used to me flat ironing with stuff. Um, the Maxi Glide with the little teeth in it but um to be quite honest if you could look in these teeth they got all kinds of hair in them and 
I just feel like I would like to go back to using a completely smooth flat iron and I have several of those. I have this one which is really like a thin small one and it's probably really good for helping me to curl um, and I probably had this one before I was even natural. Um, but I'm not going to be using this. This is a um, Curl Master Ceramics um, flat iron curler type thing. So I'm going to be using the Solia S-O-L-I-A and it is professional ceramic ion flat iron and it's got the blue blades and all that stuff um and i might do smaller sections when i get up to my really kinky part but here in the back my hair is pretty thin um this has a setting thing on it and the highest that it goes is 2 450 um and i'm gonna put it on i don't know because right before that's 370 so i'm gonna put it in the middle of 370 and 450 and i don't know perhaps that's like 400 or something like that uh that's what I'm just going to estimate that it is. So I'm going to put on a little bit more heat protectant. I wish that I had that uh, cheese stuff because it seems like everybody talks about it like it's so freaking awesome. All right. And I'm putting some more of this jojoba Minoy oil on it because that's the only thing that Felicia Leatherwood used on what we call it here. I also, I bought this thing, okay? And this is going to help my hair. Uh, similar to the teeth inside of the Maxi Glide, but, you know, not as rough and ripping. So it'll help to keep the hair smooth while I go down the strand of the hair. So go for it once with the comb. I'm gonna clamp down on it and hope I can get this thing done. All right, so. That looks silky and straight, but I assure you, I will need another pass. Um, Alicia Underwood also used a hot comb on the roots, which is not something I think I'm going to be able to do, but... All right. I'm going to try to not stress out about how many passes and all that other stuff, like I said. have to go through and just put this on my whole head because I will forget on a certain section and I'll be very upset about it. Alright. Ugh, this will be so much easier when I get to the front part, but right now. Ooh, just hoping I don't burn myself. Okay. Do you guys see this? Yeah, it did not go all the way down, huh? Okay. Comb. Why is you forsaking me? Bum -bum. That was flashback from being a little kid. The hair was hot when it touched me. with the, the oiliness from the Manoi oil, it feels a little uh, heavier, a little more similar to the way it used to feel when I was uh, younger or a kid. So I'm going to continue. All right, so I'm back to do this last section. <clears throat> this method has been working pretty well for me. And I got a little tra crazy up here in my really, really kinky section. But I feel like I even lost less hair than I would usually do, just even combing up in that section. Section I don't like to be messed with. Alright. I think I wanted it to go this way, right? I don't even know. all that steam and y'all like no but looks like they used to when I was little that's just the heat it's just the heat like I already know it's the heat duh heat is hot heat is hot right. this is the best press that I've ever had or flat ironing that I've ever had since I've been natural and I owe it in part I think to the grease of uh, well the the whole manoy oil because my hair needs some sort of grease. It, it's not like, you know, that kind of hair that gets all flowy and just can be all dry and bouncing around. Like I need some heaviness, some weight on the oil. 
I like it. Um, I think I'm going to style it if I can. I'm very bad at styling straight hair at this point. I never had hair when I was relaxed. I was all headed. So I may not know what to do with my hair, but I sure know how to do a Baywatch spoof. What is it? What's going on? People are drowning on the beach. Well, I got to save them. Come on, guys. Oh, it's in the other direction. 